Dead or Alive 4 kind of feels like deja vu, but definitely in a very good way. Back when the original Xbox launched in 2001, Dead or Alive 3 was one of its big graphical showcases, and in turn, Dead or Alive 4 is here fashionably late to the Xbox 360 launch. The big difference between Dead or Alive 3 and Dead or Alive 4 is that this game has a very well-integrated online play, in addition to a number of other tweaks to the gameplay and, and to the underlying formula that make this easily the best game in the Dead or Alive series yet, and right up there with the very best 3D fighting games out there. Dead or Alive 4 really doesn't reinvent the wheel. Don't expect this game to take some of the crazy turns that some other recent 3D fighting games have tried and largely failed at. Instead, this game is, is very focused on the core of what fighting games are all about. It's not immediately clear what Dead or Alive 4 does differently from other Dead or Alive games or other 3D fighting games for that matter. It's still about lots of fast strikes, punches and kicks. At the same time, you've got throws in there, kind of a rock paper scissors balance between strikes, reversals, and throws, uh, but the system has a lot of other underlying complexities to it in that you can't just do one thing often. You really have to vary up your tactics in mid-match and keep your opponent guessing. That's really the key to playing well in this game is to think on the fly, outsmart your opponent constantly. Your opponent is constantly trying to figure out what you're going to do next and you have to be doing the same thing. So it's really a battle of wits as much as it's a battle of fists and feet. Above all, the game just plays faster and smoother than just about all other 3D fighting games before it. There's just a very natural look and flow to the action. It, it looks right, it feels right. One of the best things about Dead or Alive 4 is that all those skills that you earn practicing offline, you can take them online and play against other opponents worldwide. Much like Dead or Alive Ultimate, this game uses this virtual arcade type of system where it's not just necessarily you against one opponent. You might end up in a lobby where there could be as many as 16 different players all kind of waiting in line in a round-robin fashion to take their turn. Or you could set up a smaller match and just get into some really quick games, but this virtual arcade system actually works very well for the most part. It gives you some incentive to win and stay on, much like you had to do in the good old arcade days where there were fewer machines than people, so you had to wait your turn in order to play. Waiting around isn't necessarily fun, but you could set it up so that there's just enough waiting around to make things interesting. One thing that's completely new to Dead or Alive 4 is this whole lobby system, which happens kind of right before you choose to enter a match, which is actually one of its problems. It's pretty goofy, it's actually pretty funny and amusing, because you see weird little octopuses and ninjas and pigs and things running around, so it's got plenty of kind of quirky Japanese humor to it, but at the same time it feels really tacked on, because as soon as you elect to actually join a match, you quit out of the lobby system entirely. For as polished as all of Dead or Alive 4 seems to be, the game does have a few rough edges, there are a few little issues with the otherwise amazing looking graphics, like you'll see characters that have flowing long hair, have their hair kind of flow in weird ways, like they're weird ribbons or dreadlocks as opposed to strands of hair. And there are also some occasional problems online. We had the game crash on us a few times and kind of hang up in weird ways. But all this kind of stuff, it's, it's pretty nitpicky. It's not the kind of stuff that's going to ruin your experience with this game, whether you play it offline or online, because uh, really the underlying game in Dead or Alive 4 and, and the entire presentation is what's so impressive about it, and it's what's going to keep you coming back. What's nice is that there is plenty to do in this game offline. The story mode running through as each character is going to let you unlock a lot of the different costumes and unlock some of the hidden characters and see some cool ending cinemas while you're at it. And otherwise, it's just a quick way to get a feel for all the different characters and actually figure out that the artificial intelligence in this game is surprisingly good, even at the default normal difficulty setting. The computer is really going to give you a run for your money, and it might even seem very difficult at first, but after a while, you're going to get better, you're going to learn the ropes, and you'll be able to beat it pretty consistently. It's not just the graphics, but pretty much the entire presentation of Dead or Alive 4 that's fantastic. Actually, surprisingly enough, the character graphics in this game, as good as they look, don't look all that different from how the characters looked in Dead or Alive Ultimate for the original Xbox. But still, this is just one of the best-looking Xbox 360 games yet, especially because of how good the environments look. These look like environments you practically wish you could just walk around and explore rather than just fight in, although fighting in them is really cool too, since you get to bash people off of rooftops and through glass and across railings and even into oncoming traffic and stuff like that. So these environments are all really different from a tactical perspective. There are different things you can do in them. 
uh, but at the same time they're just really, really pretty to look at. The audio in Dead or Alive 4 is really good as well, and although some of the sound effects and things are recycled from the previous games, they still fit the action very well. This is a game that can easily be recommended to basically any fighting game fan. I mean, if you like games like this, it's hard to imagine what you wouldn't like about Dead or Alive 4 at this point. It does have that level of accessibility to it where you can just pick up and start playing and immediately understand what the fuss is about and start having fun playing as some of these different characters. And it's a big wide selection of different characters, so you're going to find someone in there that, that's really going to suit you, if not multiple characters that you really like. So all things considered, once you factor in the online play and all the other stuff that this game has to offer, Dead or Alive 4 is really pretty much perfect for just about any fighting game fan. And if you haven't played a fighting game in a while, you should really still check this one out just to see how these games have come along. They haven't necessarily changed much at the core, but they sure have gotten a lot better if this one is any indication. <laughs>